Hey there guys, Zach here from Inbeta, and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 10130. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 10122. This build is also an official inside of release, meaning those running build 10122 can finally upgrade to this build. Now this build is also very similar to build 10125 which leaked recently. I did a video on that build so this build is going to seem fairly similar. Uh, if, this, if you didn't see build 10125 however this will be entirely new. So jumping straight in the first noteworthy changes are in the start or in settings sorry. So if you go to the start menu here you can see down here you get three areas. You get power, settings and file explorer. If we jump into the settings app we will see that in the personalization area and go down to start there's a new start area we can go to customize list and you can finally customize the list you can change uh, what shows up so you can disable file explorer and settings and turn on different things such as doc uh, downloads and pictures and if you click on start they will eventually show up there you go downloads and pictures are now there as well that's a good change very similar to Windows 7 many Windows 7 users will like that Moving right along, the next noteworthy change in this build are the improved icons. Now, you may be noticing this build is extremely slow. That's because I'm running it on a virtual machine, as I can't actually get it running on any of my actual hardware. This build seems to have issues with my PC. However, uh, I've heard everyone else say it's absolutely fine. But yes, there are new icons here. As you can see, these this is what they look like. Fairly nice, fairly... Uh, modern, I guess. They're a mix between Windows 7 and Windows 8, and that's fantastic. Jump list received an update, as you can see down here, right clicking on them, they now look really sleek and modern, matching the rest of the UI, and I think it's fantastic. And Continuum also got a few updates, so when in tablet mode, you can now swipe from the top edge to open up the app commands, much like in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. Unfortunately, I can't actually show you that as I'm not using a touch screen, however, I can show you tablet mode and go to start. That's what Star looks like. So if we open up an old app, I don't actually think we have any old apps on here no more. Since they've all been removed. But yes, if you have a Windows 8.1 app, that will, swiping down from the top will now give you the app bar which comes up at the bottom, which some of those apps actually have. Let's come out of tablet mode. Come on tablet mode. Out you come. Thank you. If you click here, you may notice that this also got an update. This looks a tiny bit better than it did before, as did the, um, the Wi-Fi list. It's now it should be blurry. It's a bit transparent now, but it also should be blurry, much like the rest of the theme. However, I have got blur turned off, and as well as with the notification center. So if you have blur on, the notification center will also be blurry in the background as well. The battery indicator also got updated, however since this is, a, this is a virtual machine and not an actual laptop I can't actually show you it. There are also improvements to Microsoft Edge, also known as Spartan. I actually do not want to open this as I think it will destroy the virtual machine. We can give it a go anyway and see if that works. So there are improvements to Microsoft Edge in this build, uh, including the ability to pin and unpin the Cortana pane, Feathers pane, reading list, and other any other pane in the browser. So when this eventually, okay, it's not loading, but if it did load, I'd be able to pin whatever comes out from the right down in the start menu, I guess, or wherever else. They've also introduced more advanced print options for, for Edge. We've improved address the address bar badges. We've also made improvements to reading view to support different content, window sizes, and device layouts, such as the Surface Pro 3 in portrait. And playing full screen video on websites like YouTube or Hulu now works like you would expect. So instead of it just making the app full screen and actually still showing the title bar and the taskbar, it now actually goes, takes up your entire screen. Cortana keyboard shortcut, Win C. So if we do uh, the Win key and C, nothing happens because I haven't got Cortana set up. Okay, let's set up Cortana. Okay, Cortana's crashed. Let's not set up Cortana. Oh, okay, so this looks new. As you can see, a, bunch, a new UI here. That's actually very nice. Uh, what's a personal assistant do on a computer? Glad you asked. I can remind you to put to do something at a particular time or both. 
No need to, re to no need to robot speak with me type or talk the way you you do with a human. I'll help you find stuff on your device, web, OneDrive. I'm a good researcher. I'll keep you posted on the status of your packages and flights. I can offer ideas, news, scores, tidbits, events, predictions, traffic, weather, jokes, etc. So uh, that's very nice. We've actually make this start menu a little taller. We've got to see more of that in the view. Let's go to Cortana there. No? Okay, well. Let's turn Cortana on then. I'll be able to show you the mini Cortana, which is a thing in this build. How is this so slow? It's a virtual machine. Oh, she answers my question. Okay, Cortana crashed, everybody. I'm moving on. Microsoft Print to PDF. The feature in Windows 10 for printing. Oh, okay. You decided to show up, did you? Oh, no. Are you, ki are you kidding? Are you going to show up? Or are you not going to show up? I'm in. Please, just give me something. Hey, Cortana. Yes, please. Use my name. Zach. Use that. Please don't crash. First things for okay, so when I go like this, win C. I hope. No, that's not what I asked for. Win. No, okay, no. I'm pressing the right button that time. It's not working. Cortana's crashed again. Okay, moving on. Microsoft Print to PDF. Uh, you can now print to PDF, which is fantastic. In playback improvements with the movies and TV app. Um, and there's a bunch of known issues. The mail app may crash due to memory error. In some cases, flyouts from the taskbar, including Stark, Cortana, Network, Battery, and Action Center, will fail to fly out. Uh, yes, that's the issue I'm experiencing right now by the looks of things. Oh, and I've just accidentally moved the window slightly, and now the entire resolution has changed. Wi-Fi connectivity may fail at times due to a known issue. A system reboot is required to recover from this state. So there you have it guys, that's build 10,130. Probably works great for you, doesn't work great for me. Thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.